Good to Go segment is made possible by Spectrum Health Medical Group. Summertime in Michigan means lots more motorcycles on the roadways, along with bicycles and scooters, too. And here to talk about how to make it safe for two-wheeled travelers and live together on our roadways is Spectrum Health Injury Prevention Specialist, Megan Crawley. And it's good to have you back. Thank you for having me. You do such important work in summertime. We're all, all of us out more, right? Yeah. And we do have to find a way to coexist. Mm -hmm. with people on two wheels while mm -hmm. we're driving. Yes, um, and especially during the summertime, people are choosing more fuel efficient means of transportation, mm -hmm. meaning bicycles, motorcycles, etc. However, these modes of tra transportation are much smaller, which makes it more difficult for drivers of vehicles to see, and they're more easily lost in blind spots. And because they're smaller too, then when something goes wrong, they may end up in your ER. And so Correct. we want to talk prevention. And yes. let's break this down. Let's start mm -hmm. with motorcycles. And we have a list mm -hmm. of some of your um, the best tips for how to keep it safe on mm -hmm. the roadways for us to consider with motorcyclists. Yes. So uh, when you're driving a vehicle and there's motorcycles around, you need to make sure that you increase your following distance. Motorcyclists are much more maneuverable and can mm -hmm. avoid road hazards more easily but this also increases your risk of hitting them. Okay. Um, you need to make sure that you're completely scanning the road. Make sure you're checking your blind spots because again, they're smaller, they're harder to see. So putting in that extra caution is important. Mm -hmm. And then signal your intent. Yes, that means make sure you're using your turn signals because if the motorcyclist doesn't know which way you're going, it's hard for them to adjust their, their driving appropriately. Yeah, okay, good. Any other one on that, that that we need to make mention of? Need to make sure that you're always staying alert, aware, make sure that, again, never drinking and driving, whether it's a motorcycle, bicycle, car, make sure you're alert. Yeah, you obviously see a good bit of that. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go to bicyclists then. Yes. Uh, because we have seen some tragic bicycle we crashes, with, you know, car, bike crashes in, in the last year or so. Mm -hmm. uh, so number one, those bicycles are vehicles, right? They are. And so bicyclists do have to follow all the same rules of the road that cars do, but they are legally entitled to be on the road. And so you must use the appropriate caution when, when you encounter a bicycle on the road. Mm. Uh, your next tip was pass with care. Yes. So although bicyclists are supposed to either be in a bike lane or to the right of the road, you still need to be very cautious when you're passing them. The wind from your vehicle can cause the bike to become unstable and can cause them to lose control. Mm. Your third tip is about sidewalks. Yes, sidewalks. Um, bicyclists really should avoid sidewalks. They Bicyclists are meant to be on the road. They are not meant to be on sidewalks. That increases their risk of hitting pedestrians and sidewalks are for pe for pedestrians, they are not for bicycles. When things go wrong, the ER, uh, summer months loaded, right? With, yes. With, uh, what are you seeing in there? Um, recently with more uh, motorcycles, bicycles out on the road, we are seeing those kinds of accidents come in. Anything from broken bones to severe internal injuries to fatalities. Mm. So please, please be careful. And that helmet, that helmet is number one, yes. right? Yes, helmets are so vitally important. Not wearing a helmet doubles your risk of dying in a crash. Mm. Unfortunately, helmets are not on the rise um, with regards to the change in the laws, but please, please use your helmet. All right, some good advice for coexisting on our roadways during these summer months. Megan, thank you, and thanks to all of you for watching. Hope you have a great afternoon. We'll see you back here tomorrow.